Okay, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> I'm sure you remember this from the Friday night show. I'm going to run over this for you real quick. This was where I went down how the emoluments scam actually works. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also going to point out something else that um, I never did get a chance to cover on the show, so I pretty much kind of left this as it was. So, knowing that the Bar Association has been calling these entitlements, remember that word? Okay, well, when I discovered that the actual description, the verbiage is called emoluments, and how it fits into the advantages, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on, Kathy. What's going on, guys? I'll uh, check comments here in a minute, but I wanted to cover this with you guys because this was important. And I spent the morning having conversations with various people about this who have seen, who saw the show, but wanted a better view of it. So I'm kind of doing this for, for them, for their benefit. So just kind of recap with the advantages, these emoluments created, created these false jurisdictions that plug in to title four of the social security act, right? Those emoluments of statutable plunder statutes, codes, rules, regulations, you know, this is all those guidance documents, right? That's what that's what all this is over here. Guidance documents, policy, right? So <clears throat> when I tied in the t Title IV A, B, C, D, and E, they're asking me, of course, well, what's your bitch? And I said, well, my bitch comes from this 4D thing here, right? This is what you unlawfully claimed against me, right? There's the word. It's not an entitlement. That's an emolument, you jack wagon. We did away with that shit more than, what, 200 years ago? So, anyway, so I said this was kind of fun for me because it was one thing for me to go in and say, well, you know, look, it's one thing for me to say it. It's something else for me to prove it. So, I just proved it. Now, one of the things that was asked of me is, well, how does the domestic violence fit into all of this? And I said, boy, am I glad you asked that question. What are the two letters that have no other descriptive language with them? D and V. What fits there? Domestic... violence. That's where it fits into the scam, right? Because domestic violence is like hate speech or hate crime. It's political shit made up. This is what I've been trying to get through you guys. And <laughs> now that I can actually show it, as opposed to just speaking it and how it fits and why, Okay, now we have our scrabbled word salad version of false made up juris shit made up jurisdictions as advantages, right? There's the malicious design, right? When I said this was word salad, this is exactly what I meant. So I'm hoping that this kind of breaks it down for, for a lot of you guys that were missing why domestic violence is political arguments. It's not a judicial argument. Assault and battery are physical crimes, right? Domestic violence is violence out on the land, like we've said this on the show multiple times. So <clears throat> when we talk about these riots and these invasions they're not caravans right i mean it is what it is that's a form of actual domestic violence because it is taking place out on the land okay so so i said the more i went into and the more i was able to comprehensively explain this as exactly what it is Mal malicious designs of men must be thwarted in other words, it was like, dude, um, why do we have to rehash this old crap all over again? 
you know, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of having to do this same job repetitively over and over and over again. That's why I said, you know, I, I know how judges, real judges, feel about getting asked the same damn questions repetitively time and time and time and time and time and time again. Which was always hilarious to me because, well, if domestic violence is a political talking point, it's not technically a crime, um, obviously... The House of Politics, that's 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 not the court. That would be uh oh yeah. Congress. That's a political argument. It's not a judicial argument. Right? So that's why that fits right here and why the petition of remonstrance, right, goes into Congress. So I, I'm not going to keep this going very long because I wanted to make it short because I know the guys who are going to be watching this are going to want to, you know, are kind of like their their days are busy too. So I'm just going to recap this recap, recap this for them real fast. Petition of remonstrance into Congress for these domestic violence claims because that is a political argument. If you can't prove assault, you can't prove battery. This goes through this process, right? And it gets it, the, actually, this process right here, right? That's why we have this book, okay? So they weren't even in the right church, nor were they even in the right pew, because the crime of battery and assault is criminal in nature. So it goes to that process. But because these are civil, okay, the quorum, which is a jury, which is a form of a jury, okay, goes through this process, and I've covered that. So, Title Four A goes through the games. Title Four B is a game. Title Four C is a game. Profits, those are those court filing fees. Title Four D is a game. Title Four E is a game, and those are not entitlements; those are emoluments. And these other profits, this other line over here, this could be anything from attorney's fees to, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But where they're raping and robbing the Social Security Fund, Title IV, right, through those guidance documents, statutes, codes, rules, regulations, this is the scam, right? What plugs it in is that false domestic violence jurisdiction, that word salad, okay? So now that we understand what the actual thing looks like, so we can take picture of it and say, that's real. It's an assessment of the shit made up that we always laugh about on the show. So my remonstrance, my complaint is about this 4D mechanism. So I hope that kind of explains a little bit more about um, what the actual congressional petition process is and why it is the proper quorum, not forum, right? A judicial forum is for things that are criminal in nature. So that said, I hope that answers the questions for the people that had actually had that question for me. But I also wanted to make sure I covered where domestic violence fits in here and why. Right? So on that note, I will check you guys' comments here as soon as I end the live feed. So much love, everybody, and I will see you on Wednesday.